I've ever seen from them. So yeah, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm a bit of a worry. I had to correct myself. No, 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 it's fine. That was atrocious. So Get yeah. In there. Well, the, look, the good news is uh, no one's going to remember the mistake <laughs> because we're about to get into the game. Uh, I believe it's Sanders and Henry still. We're in the banter zone. Game is starting, right? Going to be another epic best of one being presented here as well. Who have you got taking this one? Oh, I actually have such a hard time picking this one. I really do. I do think FaZe have a way of correcting things. They have a way of bouncing back from some losses. So I might have to tilt today. Maybe there's a little Danish bias in there with Carrigan. I kind of want to see him in front of the crowd once we get to the arena. But I think it's going to be a very tough game for both teams. I'm not going to lie. It's FaZe starting on the T side. There'll be Eternal Fire on the CT side. And we're ready to go. Another best of one coming All at right. you. And look at the speed behind this one. Yeah, this is my favorite strat on the T side of Overpass. This pistol is very difficult to contain especially if you're undetected at this point. They've got actually got four players just slowly but surely now making their way towards the A site. They're Wait. in to find the Oymans. Zantaris is coming behind them and could shut down absolutely everything here. He's here so lightning fast with dualies flanking as well. If they can oh, stay alive, what? Rob's <laughs> Sickening shot. Zantaris, you can see, he's trying oh, to no. hit that headshot, but he's just not connecting on it. The bomb getting planted now. And Rain, he will go down before it even happens. So a three versus three. The action, relentless to start with here. Rops, he thought he'd got the better of it, but as the Turkish Terminator spins around and takes him down, suddenly Frozen and Carrigan are left. Here we go then. The retake certainly possible now, but Carrigan was stunning headshot with that P250. Wants a little bit more as well. The bomb is ticking at some pace here. They do not have the kit to speak of, but they have got headshots and buckets and spades. It all comes down to this interaction. Zantaris comes out on top. They should have more than enough time to defuse. It was looking so good for FaZe. The long push with four players on towards the bomb side and a miss backstab from Zantares. You'd think that'd be more than enough for FaZe to capitalize, but somehow, no, it falls apart and the Turkish squad will be picking up a very important CT pistol here in the best of one. That was a crazy way to get started. Oh, he's trying so hard to do that. Woxic. It's a beautiful little shot that we didn't get to see. I thought maybe Kerrigan had that second headshot in him. I thought he was going to be able to do that. And that would have changed everything, but not to be. Eternal fire with a good start here on the CT side. Bomb was planted. So as you like to say, Henry, still a very good round coming up for FaZe. Sometimes almost a better one. If they can pick this one up, you're actually in a better spot than winning the pistol. So yeah, not all is lost, but oh, they will be thinking that was their round. He's picked up an org in the second round. I can't remember when I've seen that last. That's, he must have got the defuse and a kill just to get a bit of extra money, I suppose. But uh, yeah, you don't see that too often. We've got Woxic right on the precipice of long. Ready to push if required, but Carrigan's going to challenge him. His former MG lead up is about to be taken down. There it is, Woxer comes out on top, but Rain will find the opening frag on Zantares. He'll have to fall back now. Oh, they want to come through. They don't want to let him escape here. Woxic getting hunted down. In spite of throwing the Molotov, they decide we're going to sacrifice a smoke just so that we can hunt him down. We'll see if that's going to be worth it or not. It looks like it's a pretty good choice for the minute. Four versus three here. There is no kit. One HE, one smoke here on the Eternal Fire. Team Madja going to be able to take down Rain, so that'll even it up a little bit. And I think he gets some great intel behind that push as well. He's going to fall back through the connector. They've got 30 seconds here, and it's short to three on three. But the aforementioned Org of Calyx is looking very strong, very comfortable here on the A bomb site. It should be. He's going to have a lot of vision. An advantage in these duels against the rifles, and here comes the first interaction. Not the cleanest shot, but he does find the initial headshot. It's going to be Robs answering back with Cardia, though. Tucked in the corner, the MP9 seals the deal as we go 2-0. Eternal Fire fending off the force by no bomb plant found either. They've eradicated threat going forwards. It has to be an eco now for FaZe. They've had advantages here. They've had yeah. moments where it looks like it's their round in the pistol and in the subsequent buy-up as well in the second. But there it is. Santara's actually went down first as well. It was Woxer that held on with the MP9 towards Long. And Magia, that's a very important kill to take down Rain and fall back. But they lose a lot of players in this round, Eternal Fire, but they will take it. Like you said, there's no bomb plant. They're going to be able to cement their... Should be able to mint a little bit of an economy here. You can even tell that they know that because they fought three MP9s to farm up against these pistols. There are some deagles in play. I can't even remember the last time I've seen a deagle headshot. I feel like they're so rare now. Tech 9 seem to be doing a lot more. I just don't get to see the same impact. I miss it. 
Let's have a look if Rain can find one. Gets a sound cue that walks six in a similar position as to us before. Drops in Sendry. Uses that as an opportunity to fall back, but Carrigan gonna say he'd do very well to find his frag and he has converted. Santara is in trouble, but frozen. Can't connect the shots. Back to a four and four. Carrigan will recover the MP9 at the very least. As we see a one minute remaining on the clock is Wicardia coming off the backstab, and I dare say he's gonna find a few here. It's gonna be Wicardia and Calix working in tandem, but this poor old Brokey now, no Kevlar, of course, needs to save it for the AWP, and it's 3 0. Pretty much locked in, Anders, with 45 seconds remaining. He's just hoping a mistake is presented by the CTs here. Santaris could go down, he is low, but Calix with that orc confirms the 3 0 start in the CT campaign for Eternal Fire. Yeah, I think that's very well done. Roxy looks like he's a bit uncomfortable in that, in that forward position on long. I guess later on he'll have the AWP and he won't have to play that kind of position, but you can kind of tell that both rounds he hasn't looked exactly like he was sure what to do. 3 and 0 oh, and phase with AKs now, and plenty of utility to follow it up here. And there is the AWP on Woxic. Zedri down. A lot of damage as well, and Zantarez has got some open runway there, not the cleanest. Open, I did some damage. Magic will actually be the one to find the frag. And Woxic. This is actually quite assertive. He's been aggressive now, three rounds in a row towards his position. Currently scoped up towards the playground. Brokey's there with the bomb as well. That would be a monumental frag to pick up if he can find it. Hasn't seen anyone. They don't necessarily know that he was out there either. Gonna fall back and we'll check the restrooms this time just to make sure that no one snuck up. Wow, so what have we got left on the face side? Just one single smoke, couple of Molotovs, and a couple of flashes. That's it. Four and four. Don't have a ton of map control either. One minute remaining. Imagine it's been such a nuisance with this MP9 time and time again. Surely with that many Molotovs, it's tempting to go for the B-bomb site. You can burn out the barrels. You can burn out, you know, the, the actual pillar itself. Like the saw, you can firebomb the entire site, really. 40 seconds. Wicardia. Playing a dangerous game right now, waiting for the smoke to fade, hoping to catch somebody off guard. Walking clean through it, Carrigan. Probably a moment he is looking at a teammate's monitor instead. He was not ready for it. Wakadia coming up with one more shot. He couldn't get the reload in in time, but that is very disruptive to what they were trying to do here, phase. The Orc, this time it's coming up short, and they have a chance still. 20 seconds. They might assume B is somewhat open. Uh, to be fair, the smoke down towards shore makes things a bit more prob problematic for Madger. He can't deny the plan, and it's down to Woxic now. Nails the first shot. Frozen, Molotov in hand. Isolated down in water. Needs to find one of these kills in his favor. He's surrounded right now. Spots Madger, though. Reveals his position as well. Oh! Woxic, what a oh, headshot! Yeah. Not all in broom. It's no, taken no. him down. Yeah, it's it's another go. fairly expensive yeah. round for Eternal Fire. Oh, they take it all day long, though. The bomb gets planted, and it's going to be maximum loss bonus at the very least for FaZe, but they cannot get a grip on this overpass affair so far. 4-0 down, Frozen 0-4 and four as well. Couldn't even really that cause any damage in that 2 versus one It's the push from Wakadia that makes all the difference. Yeah, and of course, Carrigan on the other side. He gets a double kill here. Goes to the reload. Brokey had a, a nice sequence of frags here. At least makes the, the plan possible. Let's see this second kill from Woxic. Oh, that is brutal. Nothing Frozen could do. They get into round number five. Like I said, maximum loss bonus, especially with the plan. They can bring out four AK-47s. A Galil. Concessions on the utility. Sure, but Robs with an opening frag. This time on Wakadia through the smoke. A monster tunnel. You need, you need a little gift like that. Yeah, absolutely. But the good news is they can just win one of these rounds. It would break the, the finances of a tunnel fire. This half is right back on. They're very fragile on the Turkish side right here. Yeah, I think that's really worth keeping out. I'm sure that's what FaZe is saying to themselves in between the rounds. Yeah, just one round would do it. Yeah, we're doing the damage. Just need to unlock that next step. It's pretty traditional here when you get one of those early kills against the CT side that you're expecting some sort of reaction from them, like a double push somewhere. That's why you're seeing FaZe kind of waited out a little bit here. They're giving some space for the Turkish squad to maybe make a move, although they're not doing that. They've got two on A, two on B. Oh, he got that dastardly duo. Woxic and Zantara is defending the A bomb side, Anders. It's not bad. Could be enough 
to make this four and five work. Carrigan, tip of the spear, flashes over. Magis here as well, they've read it well. Carrigan, can he find the opener? Definitely not. Double kill with Zantares, and he's on for a few more. Yeah, looking for another one, and flashes in, and he nearly had the triple. Look at the damage he did to Brokey Rops. He was meant to be the late flank, and a catch rotations once the bomb was planted but they never got to that step in the plan because Santaris cannot be killed right now. Three kills again ahead, he's eight and three overall. That's a really big problem. Oh, it's a little bit limp there from phase, wasn't it? Like it didn't seem like they had that they much were... conviction behind it. No one even checking that close range truck position. That uh, spacing was a bit off. Zantaris didn't seem flashed or really under any sort of pressure. He gets himself a lovely <laughs> little sequence of frags. Matt is loving it. And uh, they've got the idyllic star here. We kept saying that they need to stop. Just finding one kill, uh, sorry, one round would break the finances, but that five on four doesn't even lead to a bomb plan here. So it's going to be a tactical timeout. And it's a five on four that you get practically for nothing. It's yeah, through, through the, the smoke. smoke. Like it doesn't take a lot. You don't you're not lose a lot of health doing it. Yeah, those are worth their weight in gold and they don't really do much with it whatsoever. Just walk into a, an A stack on the CT side. This is how you build an upset if you're Eternal Fire here. Well, they've already got a massive upset this tournament. They took down Vitality. Yeah, 13 to 10 on Inferno. Like, no one saw that coming. To do one better hit on FaZe as well. In this stage of the tournament, you would you'd actually love to go back and see that replay, but just follow the flash that was supposed to flash down Terrace. I don't know where that goes. So, another chance here. The money's still relatively low. They can steal this round away, and that really would be the operative word. Steal it with the pistols and a single ROPS AK-47. They can recover this half-handers, but sure. alarm bells are going off. It has to be said, Eternal Fire put their best foot forward here in the 1-1 bracket against FaZe Clan. It's Wakadia. It's a very impressive. Holding towards Monster once again. Carrigan trying to bait out some utility, which he's done so. He's managed to at least expend the incendiary on the other side. And they'll reassess their options back in towards middle. Bear in mind, his Tech Nines and Deagles here. A Rob's AK can win a round. But Zantares, he can dominate with his AK on the defensive side. So difficult to topple him. One of the best aims in the tournament. Spots the first. Decides to peel off. Once again, working in tandem with Woxic. Yeah, he doesn't have to commit to the fight at all. It's not necessary. Oxig not getting the shot, but again, he doesn't really have to swing back. There's not clear if there's going to be a Deagle or an AK out there, so you don't want to risk too much. The pressure is on phase to find the opening, but Wakadi again, this is the second time that he's been doing this. Pushing forward like that, catching Carrigan. He's okay. a real thorn in their side. That missed shot. Apply some pressure to the CT side now. They're going to find some space, but the bomb goes down in a really awkward position. Unless that kill comes in for Brokey, maybe there's something to be said, but he misses the shots and Wakadi with a 90 degree flick. And it's a very clean round. So all those conversations of low finances, they've gone out the window now, Anders. That's injected a ton of cash into the CT defense. And they've got money to buy up next round, even if they give this one up, it's six and zero. Frozen yet to frag. Everyone else hovering around three. As Eternal Fire continue to stretch their legs here on the CT side of Overpass. Can FaZe come online? What's the next play? Well, the problem is now Eternal Fire have money to lose a round. So the luxury that they would have had earlier of at least being able to just win one round and then it's saving for, for the Turkish side, it's not true anymore. Yeah, this is another best of one if you aren't aware, if you're just tuning in. The 1-1 one, one bracket and FaZe yet to post a round on their T side. Alex boosted up. Organ hand once again. Molotov towards the divider will dislodge Woxic from middle. Stands could be Zantares. He's holding long with the AK-47. Wakadia pushed off short. So much information garnered. God, he's so annoying to them right now. It's so frustrating to have somebody who's just all the time this active. Frozen seems to be somewhat aware. He's got the idea, but is he going to be able to find his first kill? He's got the grenade in hand right now. Oh, he might be dead already here. Wakadia able to get rid of him. He is a real nuisance, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, like it's just a thought in their side. Time and time and again, Carrigan goes down for nothing. Didn't even realize he could be killed there. It's a very standard angle. They are just shrinking on the T side here. Fortunately, Rain will pull one back. Is it even nearly enough? Smoke down towards Monster, courtesy of Magia. It's going to be too late. It's landing behind them, but 
They can make this round work, I suppose. But it seems that the rotations are coming through. Kalex with a smoke in hand just to divide the bomb site. Sick. They had one flashbang and they've already used it. Now they've got a smoke up to try and see if they can at least plant the bomb. Jumping into it here. Here we go. Rob finds a headshot. Okay, the round might be back on. But some terrorists has shown up with the flank now, ready to try and reclaim the bomb site. Only Rops remains. What have you got, Rops? No grenades. 100 HP short. Not the ideal weapon for the job. It doesn't even get activated. It's going to be 7 to 0 here. I can't believe my eyes. Where are FaZe Clan? They are yet to post a single round. Frozen yet to post a single kill. They are being dominated by the Turkish squad of Eternal Fire. Yeah, representing an entire region for themselves, right? I mean, like, that's. They're doing a lot of work right now. Madger has been around for a long time. I think 33 years old. He's, he is, he's yeah. been around for a really, really long time in Counter-Strike. He's the second oldest player at the tournament next to Carrigan. Yeah. Taking that what you will. 7-0. and oh. I was not expecting this. I don't think anyone was. This is not part of the script whatsoever. FaZe Clan. 0-7 oh, for Frozen. Yeah, let's with see. Cardi what... just, I mean, it's not even the kills, it's the its the disruptive nature of what he's doing. Nobody yeah. enjoys playing up against one CD player like this. Every time you're trying to set something up, he's just there, shooting you in the back, pushing he's... forward, finding information. Time and time again, rupturing the offense. They have no response. They're not even getting bullets back in his general direction. The problem is as well, at one point, if you... If you say, okay, we have to get rid of Wakadia, the problem is now you're no longer even playing your own game. You're well, now, actually playing to stop him from playing his game, and that's not the same. He's done it so many times. Now he's conditioned them that he's going to keep backstabbing that he can now just play more of a passive game. They're going to yep. have to be on such high alert, waste so much time trying to sniff him out. He's got them eating out of the palm of his hand right now. Oh, here we go. Is he going to get flashed in this time? He could do it. He's been pushing solo for a while, but I mean, you can throw flashes over that wall just as well as the T's can the other way. 45 so, seconds now. A B finish, an execution here, Anders, but a devastating smoke towards Monster with 40 seconds remaining. That's going to make things so much more complicated. Wicardia, I don't think he pushes this now. He knows if they're coming into this side of the map, he can actually mow them all down. Speaking of which, Kallax will open things up. It's Robs finally finding some form here as he bounces through the monster pipe. Rain will confirm the round almost certainly. Four on two now, Zontares and Woxic. Nothing to do, nothing to say as they retreat. It is Face Gun finally arriving on the T side of Overpass. If we can find the replay of Major dying from, from, from his point of view, I wonder if he died. He had a Molotov left, and it was not that much time on the clock. I think he thought exactly what I did, which is if he can show up from the high ground and throw that Molotov down and stop the bomb plant, they can win the round even if the defense is lost, or at least get close to it. I think he tried to do that and got absolutely wrecked by Rain before he even, I think he let go of it and died almost immediately. Either way, that is the coveted round that they've been looking for for a very, very long time. You gotta say, the little technique as well for Rops coming through the tunnel and making that jump is so hard to deal with when you're on the CT side because it, it curves like, the player up onto the arch of the, the tunnel. Like there. I said, that was a devastating smoke. Wicardia had all yeah. the advances there. He dodges the flashbang. It looks like he's got everything going in his favor. You're right. It's a nice little jump from yeah. Rops that makes things very difficult yep. to manage. That's it all comes down to the movement and brain, yeah. Maggio was trying to throw that. He, because of the time, he's thinking, I just, they, don't have, they had no smokes on the T side. If he lands that Molotov, suddenly it could cause havoc. They could run out of time. They could be forced to plant in the open. That's what he wanted, Maggio. He was playing to win the round. It's a good idea, but it didn't work out. Well, FaZe historically love a slow start. They like to make it as difficult as possible. You can normally find these nice leads, but putting them to bed is a whole different kettle of fish. Seven to one now. Money I mean, is not I, broken yet. You say that, but you're right. Notoriously, FaZe have some of the most disgusting comebacks in yep. Counter-Strike. It's so stupid how often they do it. You can't take your eye off the prize for a moment. Nope. They can answer back at any second. That round looked they were done. Looked like they were out, but Rob's found a way. If they can just vote two or three rounds, Anders. That's all you need on the T-side of Overpass. It's pretty par for the course. Double See. Molotov. If they can get this one. Need to convert this round, I would say, phase. Yeah, hard to disagree with. This has to be the start of a bit of a string, oh, but Wakadia. Oh, 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 revenge. Start to get rid of it. Drops to go down. He does take a little bit of damage from the Molotov, but not nearly significant enough. 
even dodges most of, most of the HE damage there. Frozen, tagged up, and still nowhere to be found. Zero seven, you're right. He was, he's been such a great addition to this team. It's a very uncharacteristic performance from him, I have to say. Still plenty of time around his. I'm sure he can bounce back. Faze is going to need him to. Yeah. Round nine here. Five on four advantage for Eternal Fire. They fall back into a more traditional passive setup. No one inquiring for an opening kill anymore. Well, speaking of people who haven't been playing themselves, I mean, brokey has got some kills, but we haven't seen that agent of chaos brokey that we love to see running in with the AWP, no scoping people left and right. Like, he's an absolute madman. They haven't really had the space to do it trouble. yet. If he jumps up again, Rain might get him. He wanted it, but Rain himself might be in trouble. He might not be thinking about this at all. Santaris hiding close, but even worse, I think he peeked the corner. I think he knows that nobody else is here. They're walking onto the site, but it's already been called in. Wakadia, good for the kill on Carrigan. Brokey and Frozen. They're going for this? Two versus five. They, they can't. I mean, they can, but they're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, I was going to say, you're a five on two with 20 seconds here, lads. Frozen got 20 HP. I'm not sure what the plan's going to be, but no I guess he has to save the AWP as the bullets whistle by his glorious locks. He'll have to make his way back towards the playground. And uh, that's going to be a clean sweep once again. Five on one, same the AWP, and the money's going to be pretty tight. They've got $3,000. Um, oh. Frozen could buy himself a Galil, so they've got a buy there, but it's going to be messy. <laughs> one one these two teams, and showing up here, Frozen, you can tell on his face a little bit. It's a frustrating experience having a game like this. A little bit too much emphasis, Henry, on that Sen part of his name. He's just enjoying the moment, hanging out. Zero seven. Tenth round coming up. Well, yeah, got to buy, really. He Three rounds there. on the CT side. That's strong. Difficult to dislodge, especially the way this team's playing right now. Zantares, Ricardia. Haven't really missed a shot yet. Haven't missed a beat. Every single push seems to be catastrophic for FaZe Clan. Every single interaction, it's a deadly bullet to the skull. And here we go once again. Kalex has helps himself to short. There's no one there, no resistance to speak of. It's so much information. Yes, it is. And you can't really afford to give up this sort of map control and allow them to readjust accordingly. It works in a lot of different ways. It allows Eternal Fire to make more intelligent rotations. It also keeps FaZe in the dark. They think that they are just, you know, out here clearing out the map, but all the while, they're actually walking into a bit of a trap. So Kalex can just hold B by himself. He's spotting Monster and indeed Short, of course. And so now they can have essentially three, four players this side of the map. It all comes down to these individual jewels. Zantara is finally bested in toward the bathrooms. That's Rain to find the advantage here. 45 seconds remaining. And it looks like they'll have to commit in towards A. Kalex, though, strong flank. If Frozen can find him, there he is. His opening kill. Let's go. It's about time. I think Richard said on the desk that very often Rain is the person to drag FaZe back into it. He's trying to do that very hard right now. Loxic, he'll get the shot on Carrigan, but immediately traded. Frozen, back in action now. Three versus two. They must win this round, FaZe. Everything is on the oh, line, but Madja has shown up. The captain of the team, Brokey. 15 seconds left, trying to fight both at the same time. Pistols come out. He's surely getting him a run here. A jump, but if he misses a shot, he is dead to right in the center. Oh, 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 oh it is not an armor. <laughs> Nothing he can do, but my God, did he give it a good go. It's going to be yet another round here. Nine to one, Eternal Fire cannot be stopped. Opening picks this time for FaZe, but it's still nowhere near enough. Brokey thrusted into an impossible two-on-one situation. Tactical timeout. What can you even say about this one? No plan found. And that was a weak force by they had Galils and the AWP and now averaging, what, $3,000 per player. A couple more rounds to go. Neo, what are you saying? Are we buying again? Do we, <laughs> we need rounds. I mean, you know what? Eternal Fire is setting phase up for one of their all-time comebacks if they're going to be able to do this one. I've got to say as well, there's got to be a lot of Turkish contract fans out there that are celebrating right now because they've That watch party the they've got going on in Istanbul is going to be lit. Yeah, Let me tell absolutely. you, that, they're going to be blowing the bloody roof off that joint. 
They gotta be. Because they've been kept in the dark for a long time. Most of CSGO, there were moments, it was interesting. Again, we throw back to, you know, that the Space Soldiers lineup. But there was a lot of fun stuff happening, but it was never consistent. It was never quite enough to have a real celebration. This team looked like it's the real deal. Watch it takes down Rain. Get rid of him. Drop at the fountain. And a four and five to ensue here. Eternal Fire looking to crush FaZe in this game. Oh yeah, putting their best foot forward to say the very least. Round 11, 5 and 4 advantage and 9 1 overall. Woxing maybe caught off by Carrigan here. I think he spots him towards the divider. Oh, but he adjusts the cross there. Finds the kill. That's his second of the round as well. Sure, he's low HP, but he is getting the hell out of there. Double digits looks destined for eternal fire. They've got a Galil and a couple of pistols to work with. They do have a minute on the clock and a bit of utility. Not impossible to win this round, Anders, but incredibly unlikely. Three players ready and waiting in towards B. It would take a monumental error from Eternal Fire to lose this round now. They spot one towards Shaw. They adjust accordingly and play it to perfection. One player remaining and Brokey. This is just for looks. This is just for the individual scoreboard because there's no way he can actually do anything with this Let's one. Go. Double digits, one more, more round left pilot, pilot for FaZe to scrape together on. two. It just looks so convincing, doesn't it? You're watching it with your own eyes, but you can't really believe what you're seeing here. What do you do now? Like, it's considered to be the hardest T side we have in the entire map pool. Overpass is no joke. But Look this at... particular matchup, FaZe going into favorites to find one single round. And it's not even Santaris. It's Wicardia, 19. Freshly iron team, some might say. Just... Absolutely wrecking them here. Round number 12. Let's see what they've got for us, FaZe. One more round. I mean, again, Had said they are the kings of comeback. You never know what it takes for them to wake up. I've seen many games in the past. Again, Wakadia <laughs> back to his old tricks. This is sickening. How is he allowed to get away with this? The fourth, maybe fifth round that he's doing this is out of control. The, the, the Robs is, he's even managed to fool Robs. How do you do that? Oh, Wakadia, this could be a really difficult way to close things out. FaZe are going to get backstabbed at the start of the round. I can't believe he's going to find the bomb and everything. Holy shit, Anders, this is insane. Oh, he hasn't made it clean, but he does find the bomb. One and a half kills, With a smoke down. Open? Like the whole plan for FaZe is no longer about whatever <laughs> they were just the doing. He lost the bomb and T's for this Yeah, they're like, oh, well, give up the plan. We have to, like, we have to They're divert. lucky to get away with just a single death there. And he smoked it off and now he's playing in front of his own smoke because he's an absolute madman. They're not reading it. Rain is thinking, no, he must have smoked it off to fall back, surely. Okay, there's a backstab themselves there. It's going to be Robs who can save the day some... Oh my God. Oh my God, Nobody shot him really down. Him. Can anyone get like the kill against running him? Running around uh, in like DM essentially now as Rob will finally find him. He's taken three kills, done damage to the remaining two. This is going to be 11 1, an absolute domination here on the CT side of Overpass. We've got Rob's left, and it would take one of the clutches of the tournament with what, eight seconds remaining. Oh my oh, God, pack it up. Get him out of here. Phase are done. They have no idea what in God's name just happened to them. Absolutely ravished on the T side. Pushed every single round. Wicardia has absolutely embarrassed them here. Look at this. They have no idea, Anders. He's in T spawn, taking down the bomb. No one's got any idea what's going on. It's. It's even more frustrating because it's been doing it over and over again. Those aggressive pushes. Once they get shot in the back, they got to be thinking, my God, it's Wakadia again shooting us in the back. Why can't we stop him? 11 to 1, ladies and gentlemen. What can he say about this one? FaZe right. is going to have to be one hell of a CT pistol. They have a reputation to maintain in terms of the comeback, but this would be one of the greatest phase comebacks of all time if they're able to do this one. It's such a stretch. They've got one round on the opening half. If they lose the pistol here, there's nothing even to talk about at that point in time. They're gonna blow open the door outside of the B bomb site. They're gonna be pushing three men down, frozen. That is a very crisp shot. But yeah, they're pushing forward. This is actually an old Astralis strategy of pushing forward and then you're quick to rotate up the connector. 
something that Sonic loved to call, if we rewind time a little bit, back to the original Astralis lineup. Santara is dead and out of the round, frozen. Miserable start to the game, but you never know. He's up to three. And they're just parking themselves here, why not? Yeah, pumping the brakes. Five and four. With a few advantages FaZe have had. Kallax, though, probably finds Rops here. Not the cleanest kill, but we'll take it. Back to the four and four advantage, Eternal Fire. This means the CT defense will be spread very thin. They're already quite out of position. Need to consider the bomb sites now. Oh, look at Wakadia. He's sneaking Back through. Backstabbing again, is he? He is up to his whole tricks. Behind enemy lines nearly once again. So they're going to fully execute in towards A and fall back with the bomb, I believe. But Maja, aware that this could be a potential problem. We've got the CTs in towards the connector. Wakadia has spotted them. And he's going to get a kill. Or at least put the pressure on enough. Oh, they don't they know don't about, about Brokey, <gasps> But he misses the chance. Oh, Good headshot. Though. It might still be in play here. Kalix will take him down with a stolen USP. Two versus three, and 15 seconds on the clock as the bomb is making its way onto the site, but they're up at the high ground. That's the bomb now, no longer in anybody's hands. Kalix sniped from a distance. Eight seconds left as they try and plant the bomb, but there is another flank. This time, it's Woxy. He should be able to get this kill. He's making absolutely sure. Doesn't want to mess it up, but he won't. Frozen it's goes down, and it's on the captain himself here. Out in the open, one misstep and you're dead. And he misses the first shot here and now they're escaping, they're playing for time. This is so smart, Wakadia. It's everything you wanted to see. Instead of fighting Kerrigan, he knows there's not gonna be a kit. And there's the kill for him as well, 12 to one. What a brilliant game this nice. has been for the Turks. What a wacky round that was. Opening kill for FaZe. It looks like they've got enough to, to actually win the round and get a decent start in this second half. Give us something to believe in, but no. Absolutely not. A slow and patient. Eternal fire, wait for their opportunity. And a fake in toward the A side, back in towards B. Another backstab from Wicardia as well. Grants them map and series points in the best of one here. It's gonna have to be the force by. Uh, no two ways about it. FaZe Clan will bring MP9s, Desert Eagles, HEs, and a five-man B stack here in round number two. One more round will do it for Eternal Fire to close this one out. Perfect time to do it. Brave call from Carrigan. No one heading towards B right now. Hope for the best, I suppose. The epitome of uh, a gamble stack. They're realizing it might not be the correct call. I, mean, I don't know what else they actually need to do here. Just, you might as well roll the dice. Nothing has worked. Nothing that FaZe was planning was ever being allowed to be put into play because Wakania just kept throwing a stick in their wheel every single time. It's painful to watch if you're on the FaZe side, but quite beautiful for Eternal Fire. Centaurs moving forward. All right, slowly taking this part of the map. There is Kalix to make a distraction down here, but that's all it is at the moment. Pushing in front, and what a distraction it is. Takes down Rain. He's just a, a bit of a third wheel. It's Woxic to take down Frozen. Five versus three as they try to push onto the A-bomb side. There is but a single defender here with a pistol in hand trying to take care of business. It's Brokey. It's too much to ask for. He's slowly getting picked apart. And finally, the Mac 10 will kill him. Rops had a bit of a flank here. Two versus four. A bomb planted. The job is almost done. You're right. They can hear this in Istanbul. They can hear it in Ankara as well. Rops and Carrigan left to try and hold on to this eternal fire of absolutely wrecked phase. There's nothing left to do here. The Turkish incinerator that is eternal fire crushing phase. The biggest okay, blowout of the tournament so far. Yeah. Who would have thought it'd be in this particular matchup? 13 to 1 as Eternal Fire absolutely dominate FaZe Clan. Yeah, dear desk, please <laughs> stop talking.